Hi, and welcome. I am super excited to share some updates to one of my favorite design tools, Canva. So if you are not familiar with Canva, it's a graphic design suite of tools. And if you are a school district, you can get all of your staff and students set up in Canva for free. And it's super easy to do on their website. If you are a Google district, it's also easy to set up all of your users to where they can authenticate with their Google accounts into Canva, as well as push out a Canva app to all of your Chromebooks and devices, which is pretty fantastic as well. But one of the newer features is the ability to really quickly and seamlessly create polls and quizzes for your presentations in Canva. I did a lot of nice questioning and formative checks when I was in the classroom, but I wasn't always the great at building those questions into my slides immediately. Sometimes I would just remember to ask them a question, which really wasn't the most accessible. This feature in Canva allows you to insert those questions, have them written out on the screen, which ultimately gives the students more ways to participate and engage than just speaking out and raising their hand, but also doing this digitally. And it's even better because it's easy to do. So if I log in to my Canva account, this slide deck I will share. It's also just on the Canva updates webpage for education it automatically pops you into here. So it's a nice guided tutorial if you want this in more detail. But I go into a slides presentation like so, and this is available in any presentation on Canvas. If you find a template you really like, like I taught seventh grade social studies or some really nice templates on here for teaching about ancient Chinese dynasties, as well as Japan and African kingdoms, lots of options there for my content area. So if I find one I like, I go over here to the elements menu and if I click the elements menu, it shows me all the things. So I have pictures, shapes, all of the stuff. And then you have this newer button that says polls and quizzes. All right. If you click see all, you can see all the different options that you have here for those. So a poll is going to make it to where it's just more of a voting type of piece, whereas a quiz is more of an assessment type of question. So you can select which ones you want. I can peruse all of the different types of questions here. And if you notice, I have flexibility on what this text is. So I can do yes or no, multiple choice, uh, true, false, multiple answer, I think is actually one of them. Um, ranking question. Oh, that's fun. Whoa, so many of them. If you keep scrolling, there's even more. So fantastic. Lots of ones to pick from. So what I'm going to do is select this one. All right. All right. So if I click this, it kind of walks me through this. It adds it to my presentation. All right. And if I click in any one of these, double click actually is what I did. Now is where I can start editing these options. So I can add more pieces. The footer you can select, you can say like enter, or whatever you want it to be. I'm just gonna keep it as submit, but I'm gonna change this to where it's not just random text. Delete that, we're actually just gonna make this a little more simple, but I can have several different options here. If you click the three dots button, you can even arrange this and you can duplicate some of the options if you just have like a slight change between those. So I'll save this, we're all good to go. And then all I have to do is just click out of that. And now I have my changes. So we already skipped through that. We have our options there, we customized it. I can change the colors too, if I click on this. Like I don't necessarily know if I love this yellow that's on here. Um, I already have like purple on this slide deck already. So we're gonna go with more purple. There we go. And it actually pulls the color scheme from my design and what I have on there already. So if you're very particular about color, Cam is gonna help you out. All right, so I have this and whenever I am ready to share this with my students, it's super, super easy. So I'm gonna go to share and then I'm going to do, actually I'm gonna move myself here so you can see, I'm gonna do public link view. And it's actually gonna give you a little alert here. So it says this includes a polar quiz. So if I share this with maybe one of my co-teachers, then they can go through and add their own questions and content. Totally up to you on how you wanna do that. Uh, but before I do that, I wanna point this out, all right? So next slide in this training deck kind of walks through some common questions and actually some of the questions that I had before I started training myself on how to use this tool and is, okay, this is wonderful, but where do I see the responses? And how do I know what students said what? Like, is this anonymous? Do I have to have the first question be them entering their name or something like that? So what's amazing is that you, whenever you launch this, 
and you can see your responses. If the students are signed in to their school district Canva account, if you've launched this to everyone, then their name's gonna be associated with their responses. So it is a really nice, just formative assessment, a good way to see which students have nailed it, which one's seen a little bit more remediation, and maybe who has lingering questions or isn't sure about the content. So to launch this, we're gonna go to public link view. All right, we're gonna create that link. And then I'm just gonna show you what this looks like. All right, so I copied that link and I might open it in another tab, okay? All right, so I am signed into my personal Canva account. All right, so I have my answer selected here and I'll do submit and then it tells me if that's correct or not. And then I just keep moving on to the next one. I actually clicked the wrong section of this. Tombs for Pharaohs. We'll submit, go on to the next one. And I just say I need a little bit more. That's a poll type of question there. So there's not a right or wrong. We're just surveying the students. And then, oh gosh, I do not know anything about parts of the heart. Clearly I didn't pay attention in science class. Um, we're gonna guess. Oh, or it's just not gonna tell me the answer. Nope, okay, so clearly I need to review that, but this is just showing you some different ways of how you can use those quizzes. So if I go back to my account where I made all of these, all right. Now we're gonna look and see the results of this quiz. All right. Already have just like one little response here. And if I click on any one of these quiz questions now, I can edit it again if I need to, but now there's a little response box that pops up that was not there before. So now I can see how we did. Uh, it actually picked up on my name here. I can download it as a CSV, upload it in Excel or Google Sheets if I need to, and then create some nice graphs, charts, visualizations. So it just makes us a little bit more interactive. And there's a lot of research out there that shows that if we're embedding some of these different pieces where we're asking students questions, we're building in natural breaks and we're chunking the content, then it helps with waning attention spans and keeping them actively engaged throughout. And this is certainly a way to do that. And to spice things up, you can always add in like a goofy question, something fun in the middle to spice things up and keep them on their toes too. So thought I would share this. If you have tinkered with this tool, share some of your success stories with me, or if you have questions, feel free to reach out. Have fun.